What's up guys, it's Wholesome Joe back with an update video for your Arduino Ghostbusters Proton Pack lights and sound. If you're working on one of these right now, you might have run into this issue. This question was asked in my Facebook group called Arduino for Ghostbusters Props. Basically, if you've been using the NeoPixel dual lights for your cyclotron lights, you might have run into this issue. When you ordered them, if you use the Amazon link that was in my initial videos, you should be okay. But in case you ordered them from somewhere else, maybe you got them from AliExpress or any of the other retailers that they are available, you can buy the branded ones. You may not have noticed that there's a difference in some of them, even though the lights themselves look kind of the same. Uh, and this is that some of them are RGB and some of them are RGBW. And this can cause an issue for you if you have one or the other. Now, the code that we're using that Mike S11 um, has created for us that a lot of people have been using over the past several years that has been updated and kind of changed around and they've added a lot of new features to it. The code is set to use RGB um, LEDs. So if you have the RGBW LEDs, you're going to have issues unless you change two lines of code. And I'm going to show you where to change them. Now, if you want to see that, Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know that you're working on a Proton Pack right now and using my videos because I love to hear about it. And if you have any questions, once again, I answer every question that I see um, as best I can. So if you have a question about the build or if there's something that doesn't make sense to you, please leave me a comment and I will try to answer. And if not, join the Arduino for Ghostbusters Facebook group on Facebook and you will find a lot of other people working on these who will be able to help you out. Now, let's get into what you need to change in the code. So I've already got the Arduino IDE open with the Proton Pack code already loaded. Um, if you're watching this at this point, you probably already know how to do that, so I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video. So all we're gonna look for is two lines of code, which is gonna be this one right here, this Adafruit underscore NeoPixel wand lights, and you're gonna come down to the section where it says Neo underscore GRB. That's what you're looking for. And then you're also looking for this other code that is for the cyclotron lights that is gonna have the same Neo GRB right there. And the way you could find this, once you open this up, is you can just click in here somewhere and then uh, click on Control F and then just type in Neo underscore GRB and it'll bring up every instance of it, which is only these two. But basically, you're gonna come in here. If you have the RGBW, sorry, I'm getting over a cold. If you're, if you're using the RGBW lights, all you're gonna do is go in here and add a W <laughs> to the end of this code, right? So that's all you gotta do. You gotta change it to Neo underscore GRBW. So we're gonna come back in here and we'll just change it just like that. Just like, can't type, just like that. And that's all you gotta do. And then you just save it and you're good to go. Now, if you're not sure which ones you have, the best thing, way to, to know is if it's not working properly, you probably have the other type um, because the code is set up to use the RGB lights. So if you have RGB lights, and your code is working fine and your lights are working fine, then you're good to go. If you're having weird light issues and you can't figure it out specifically with the NeoPixels, this is probably the issue. So um, I hope that helps. Um, there's gonna be more videos coming. Once again, I, like, like I said, if you like these tutorials and you wanna see more of them, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've subscribed to my channel because I wanna know every time someone subscribes to my channel. And um, yeah, the videos will be coming soon and thank you for watching.